Good afternoon and welcome to this meeting of the Subcommittee on Landmarks, Public Siting and Maritime Uses. I am Council Member Adrian Adams, the Chair of this Subcommittee. We're joined today by Committee Members Koo and Traeger. Today we will vote to approve LU38, the Gowanus Canal CSO. A public hearing was held on this item on March 12th. This is an application submitted by the New York City Department of Environmental Protection and the Department of Citywide Administrative Services pursuant to 197-C of the New York City Charter for the site selection and acquisition of property located at 234 Butler Street, 242 Nevin Street, and 217 Nevin Street, Block 411, Lot 24, Block 418, Lot 1, Block 425, Lot 1, for a combined sewer overflow facility to reduce the volume of sewer overflows entering the Gowanus Canal in Brooklyn. The site is located in Community District 6. Council Member Levin supports this application and I will read his letter of support. Statement to support a public siting application for the Gowanus CSO head end facility. I am pleased to express my support for the New York City Department of Environmental Protection application to site the Gowanus CSO head end facility at 234 Butler Street, 242 and 270 Nevin Street. The head end facility will dramatically reduce combined sewer overflows into the Gowanus Canal and is a necessary and required aspect of the remediation mandated by the Federal Superfund program. Throughout the public process for this application, neighbors and stakeholders have made it clear that siting this important facility at this location is far preferable to the alternative site located across the street at Thomas Green Park. However, many legitimate concerns have been raised about the construction impacts on the surrounding community and about transparency and inclusiveness in the construction and design process. At my urging, DEP has provided a letter for the public record that I believe addresses many of these concerns. DEP has agreed to work with my office and other stakeholders to form a, commit, a community advisory group that will meet at least quarterly to provide updates on design and construction and, for, and a forum for addressing community concerns and gathering input. DEP will share construction mitigation plans with the community in advance and make all reasonable efforts to exceed industry standards and minimize impacts on adjacent residential, business, and park users. Once construction begins, there will be a dedicated community liaison in place to address all concerns regarding construction impacts. There will also be an opportunity for the community to provide input on the final design of the facility, including the publicly accessible open space. DEP is also committing to working transparently with the community to incorporate preservation of key historic architectural elements of 234 Butler Street into the design and include opportunities for incorporating the work of local artists and arts organizations. All community outreach will incorporate and prioritize the involvement of local NYCHA residents. Regarding the business currently present on the site, an agreement between Eastern Effects and EDC to relocate the city-owned space is nearing completion. For the other affected businesses, SBS and EDC will coordinate meetings to help connect them all to available city assistance, including access to capital and potential le leasing opportunities in city-owned space. I look forward to continuing work with the Department of Environmental Protection and the Gowanus community to ensure that construction and design of this critical project is transparent, inclusive, minimizes all potential negative impacts, and sets a new standard for 21st century infrastructure in Brooklyn. Sincerely, Stephen T. Levin, New York City Council Member, 33rd District. We will also vote to approve a motion to file pre-considered LU50, an application submitted by the New York City Department of Administrative Services for a note of intent to acquire office space for the Taxi and Limousine Commission in Council District 8 in the Bronx. We held a public hearing on this item on March 15th and subsequently on March 21st, DCAS withdrew the application. 
I now move for a vote on both items. A vote of yes is a vote to approve LU38, the Gowanus Canal CSO, and to file pre-considered LU50 related to the T TLC office space to remove it from our calendar. Council, please call the roll. Adams. Aye on all. Coop. Aye on all. Traeger. Aye. By a vote of three in the affirmative, zero in the negative, with zero abstentions, the motion to approve LU38 and to file pre-considered LU50 and removed from the calendar is recommended to the full land use committee. Uh, thank you, Council. I will leave the vote open uh, for about 10 minutes today. I'd like to thank the members of the public, my colleagues, Council, and land use staff for attending today's hearing. <laughs>